Hey guys, this is Imi Chicken from Team Pandori. I'm John Liu. Good morning. Today, we're going to be looking at a Pandora Games box. And it tells us to classically reproduce. I'm always down. Point me the way to the pretty girl. Like Pokemon, there are three colors to get. Red, gray, and black. I've gone for the red one. Charmander. In here we get the instruction booklet, as well as the red box. HDMI cable. Two wireless controllers. These seem to be the PlayStation 3 clones. They feel... All right. By all right, I guess you mean it's acceptable after a few pints. Like my right hand. To power this, we'll need two AAA batteries. The box is powered by a 12 volt, one amp power adapter. I'll be there for you. This is the friend's box. On the top, we got some holes so he can get out. I could stick it in. Ha! Ah. Two USB ports with controller dongles in. The micro SD card slot. Ethernet, SPDIF, 3.5 inch audio, HDMI out, DC in, and the power switch. These controller dongles seem a little bit different to usual. And we have a Lexar 128GB microSD. Manual is fully in Chinese, but on the first page I noticed here, L and select. Outside that, this seems to be a manual for all of the Pandora Games 3D boards. On the top is 905 chip, and the bottom is the 812. Outside that, it shows how to add games, so if you have the ROM files, and some other bits and bobs. It takes 32 seconds to boot, and we're straight in the games list. Pushing select and L takes us to options. You can see the firmware date at the bottom right, very similar to a Pandora Games 3D. In IO test, we can try the controls. We can redefine keys here. We can bind players one to four to each control pad. And here we can have a look at the picture of the gamepad. Next few settings will be useful for an arcade box. How to exit the game. It exits the game after three minutes. Select mode is if you use coins. Image optimization, we can have disable, HD, or scan line. Let's see how they look on this machine. When disabled, we have a bilinear filter. The screen is also stretched. Here's the scan line filter. Half the pixels are missing. This is what dirty Japanese movies look like. And the HQ filter. Gross. Put the dirty Japanese movie back on. We can change the language of the system. Korean, Japanese, Spanish, Chinese, simplified Chinese, and English. Stop. We've done this before. Okay, what's your plan? We will travel through time. Engage the sticks. So this is the game market? Yes, I have found a game with a pretty girl. Yeah, there is a games market, but most of the games are actually on the machine as it is. There's like 10,000 on here. MAME, FBA, PSP. There is a nice variety of games, but most of them are hacks, or very tiny games that we don't really care about. The top we can switch between category, that's a system type, recent games list, and we also have search. I actually had this crash on me today, probably due to the amount of games on here. From the in-game menu, some have a save state feature, however there are some systems that don't support it, or it's needed for two-player PSP. Let's check which controllers work. These John Wayne controllers that came in the box, they work okay. This one lasted 30 minutes. Every controller you can see here, we have tested with the Pandora mini box. And only one worked. This one. The Pooh Brown 8-bit Doe dongle. If you have something that pretends to be an Xbox 360 pad, it should work. Both of these USB encoder boards worked fine, but the official wireless Xbox 360 dongle did not. Time to test some games. First up, Metal Slug 4, the Neo Geo. Galactic Storm on MAME. Superman. 
Here I am doing everything I can, doing all I can, because I'm a super. Bonk's Adventure 2 PC Engine. Race, stunt, fight! Motorcycles. Tekken 2, PlayStation. PlayStation games play well enough, but you cannot save game, nor can you use save states. That means any progress that you've made on any PlayStation games will be completely lost. If you did want to play Castlevania, use the PSP version instead. Next up, Killer Instinct Gold. There are some dips in the frame rate. That's the least of your worries, because the buttons just don't work. On the Dreamcast, Dead or Alive 2. It's using quite an old emulator. I think it's Raycast. And it's a little slow. No, it is not. I can see everything. Cartoon Hero vs Capcom 2. Yeah, so you can see graphic issues here as well. It's them lines. Oh, and also you can't save on Dreamcast. It's a pain if you want to unlock the characters. Wipeout on the PSP. If you look closely at the ship, it flickers. Also graphical distortion. It's Tekken 6. How much chug can a cheap box chug if a cheap box could chug chug? If we push start on the Play 2 controller, we can start a two-player game of Tekken 6. This was revolutionary two and a half years ago when it came out with the Pandora Games 3D. Right now, it's very sad to see that there's been no improvement at all. Let's open her up. We're going to use two small screwdrivers, one flathead, one posi. Take off these rubber feet. Only three of them have screws underneath. Now we can crack it open like an egg. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. We can then just pull out the board. So the main CPU is underneath this heatsink. We got the four RAM chips here. There's one gigabyte in total. Here's the NAND and the Wi-Fi chip here. I think we've seen this before. This is exactly the same board we had in last year. And since that review, we've managed to jailbreak it, fixing many of its issues. Whenever we see a new Pandora box on the market, they usually clone the board, tighten security and mess things up. Many of the problems are still present from two years ago. Without run, you cannot shift up. But thankfully, if you re-add it with Pandora Tool, it can fix problems for some games. I think it's about time to wrap this up. The Pandora Friends box is silent. Not deadly. You get a nice sizable micro SD, and you can add games to it using the Market or Pandora Tool. Unfortunately, there are way too many cons for us to recommend this unit. If the jailbreak worked on this unit, Many of the issues could have been sorted, but these companies just love shooting themselves in the foot. Before we go, here's a quick thank you to all of the guys on our Patreon. You guys have been amazing. It's your continued support that helps solidify and drive our passion to keep working on the Pandora project. I'm also amazing. Yeah, you're, you're good too, buddy. Under the sheets. <laughs> oh, God. When does a joke turn into a dad joke? I don't know. When it becomes not Joe. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe and the bell if you fancy. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory. I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra. <laughs>